Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to add uh, a finish lap timer and uh, we want to update the best time as well. So, we will create a C sharp script and we will name it uh, finish lap script and then we will open it to into Visual Studio. So, uh, here I think uh, it's reloading the scripts and yeah uh, now we will again uh, go to unity and we will open finish lab script by double click so here first of all we will add uh, using unity engine.ui then we will add some variables so finish lab trigger and then we have milliseconds so last uh, variable we need public game object lab time box okay so now we will come to our function so first function we will create only the void on trigger enter function player then what will happen okay so here uh, if other dot tag equal to player yeah what's the problem uh, if other dot tag I don't know what is the problem fix formatting and uh, don't know if other dot tag I think everything is fine actually I don't know why it's giving us error so uh, let's see here we'll collider other if other dot tag private why don't trigger enter yeah so we can add private Actually, it should work with the simple wired on trigger enter as well. So I don't know why it's uh, giving us error. So let's copy this. And uh, I don't know where I am mis making mistake. So yeah, now everything is fine. So sometimes, uh, yeah, actually we didn't had the double equal sign. That was the problem. Yeah. Okay. Sorry sorry for that so now here uh, inside the if statement we will again add if statement okay so here I will say lap time manager lap uh, lab manager okay so lab manager dot second timer less than or equal to zero and that's why we have created 
the static integer okay so in the other st script we can directly get that uh, variables okay so we have called the lab manager script and then we have called the second timer so if uh, it will be zero uh, or less than zero then what will happen so here we will say second uh, second seconds okay and uh, dot get component and definitely we will get the component text dot text sorry equal to and uh, here we will say zero maybe plus lab manager where it is lab manager dot second timer okay so plus then we will definitely make the point here for differentiation so here now we will add il else statement else and in else statement we will simply write here second seconds dot get component and then we will get the text component dot text equal to and then we will add a blank field here plus lab manager dot seconds timer okay plus similarly we will add a break here a dot okay so else statement is there now we will add one another if statement if and uh, we will say here like lab manager dot minute count or minutes timer is less than or equal to zero then what will happen okay so I'll just uh, copy these lines over here and just copy and I will paste these lines here and uh, here we will just uh, change seconds to minutes uh, yeah actually minutes minutes okay so here we will change it to minutes and here we will add dot minute minutes timer and minutes sorry minutes timer okay so I hope you understand the logic so that's nice after this else statement inside the update method we will write here milli uh, sorry minute uh, minutes dot get component and uh, here we will add text dot text and we will say blank field plus lab manager dot ok 
okay actually we will add uh, lab manager dot milli count okay so milli timer actually and uh, here we will add milli I don't know we what we have added with that huh, milliseconds okay so there will be milliseconds so now we will come here and we will say lab manager dot minutes uh, timer equal to zero lab manager dot second timer will be equal to zero and lab manager dot milli uh, timer equal to zero and then we will say half lab trigger dot set active and we will make it false sorry true actually uh, we will do the opposite of last logic so uh, finish lab trigger dot set active will be false okay so that's nice so that's nice now let's test this script inside unity so we'll go to unity and here we will create another uh, no not another object we will just uh, select the final trigger final lab trigger okay and then we will add our script finish lab on this trigger and here you can see these fields half lab trigger finish lab trigger so we will add finish lab trigger here half lab trigger will be here and minutes will be uh, these second minutes we will add okay so we will go to canvas and best minutes we will add here and best uh, seconds we will add here and milliseconds we will add here okay so that's nice let's check the functionality now that what will happen and whether our best time will be saved or not so let's play the game and you can see that uh, lab timer is uh, working absolutely fine and when we finish the track then hopefully the best time will be added so let's see what will happen uh, okay because the track is uh, small so it will not take too much time so yeah you can see that best time is added to lap timer okay. and the last uh, millisecond field is not actually uh, looks good because uh, we have to add the uh, limitation to these decimal integers okay so that's nice we have successfully add the best time uh, as well best time functionality as well so that's nice uh, that's it for this video next video we will move further